It always comes together in the end. That is the most important thing. Where are my songs? But why not? Welcome, welcome! It is the Poetry Studio. We are off to a rockin' start this morning. Um, as you can see, I'm on the old camera. I could probably tilt this down just a little bit. Because, um... I ended up forgetting to charge the battery for my SLR camera, so that's okay. Full Killer says morning. Good morning, Phil. Full Killer. Good to see you. Um, as I am sitting here trying to adjust things at the last minute, um, it is very good to see you here. This morning, um, I'm going to be probably doing what I hope finishes up for now. The the wedding poetry section of my, I guess, work. Um, I thought it best, and I actually wrote this down like three months ago, to just create a generic long, long form poem for places and venues that do weddings. So it's kind of something that if I'm doing a sales pitch to maybe even uh, wedding vendors. And I've done kind of similar stuff, but nothing ever that was like, this is it. This is specifically what I'm going to work on today. So 
Uh, a lot of this is very practical application poetry. Of course, in an, over the next half hour, the stream could be directed many ways. Uh, so feel free, if you have an idea for poetry, just drop it in the chat. Otherwise, let's get started and let's fire up the old uh, 47 Royal here. I'm also incredibly late, of course, but that, um, you know, I, I ended up, my alarm ended up not going off this morning. Not really sure what was up with that, but I did, you know, I didn't let it get to my head. It just bounced back and here I am. I think that's where the real success lies when kind of going back and forth with the drama of the day. Rubber band man, you just bounce right back. Absolutely. Good to see you again, LJ Gibbons. I'm already starting with typos here, but I guess we could just call this a draft. Ooh, nice centering drill. Nice centering. Fool Killer wants to throw something fascinating out into the into our chat. Let's hear it. Let us hear your fascinating thing. I'm curious now. Now I'm intrigued. LJ says you're the real deal, Walking Mall Poet. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it, it, I didn't feel like the real deal when I when I crawled out of bed this morning, but I uh, I got it together. That's, that's the important thing. You just get it together. Now I'm really curious about what Fool Killer is going to tell us. By the way, we are expectantly waiting for the new Akira the Dawn album instrumentals to drop so we can incorporate them into the uh, instrumental symphonies that we have here. I keep listening to some of the tracks off the album and I, I can't wait to bring them all in. Thanks again, LJ. Fool Killer said, I found out that the author of the novel of The Bridge on the River Kwai is also the author of the Planet of the Apes novel. The novelizations, both those books are extremely well known for being cinematic masterpieces, and indeed they are so. I've seen, I don't think I've seen Bridge Over River Kwai, but I've seen The Planet of the Apes. But they both have... What's interesting is one is set in a very science fiction existence and i'm a little rustier on bridge over river kwai i got really into planet of the apes at a certain point in my life um but the um uh the the bridge over river kwai kind of has this fatalistic plot to it if i remember it correctly good morning leaky i i have still yet to respond to your email uh my weekend just got totally off the rails. 
Um, and I actually have it on my list today to respond to all my emails, which will be good. Uh, and so it's interesting is all great sci-fi, all great stories, including fantasy, um, are reflective of what's happening in reality. Star Trek was probably the greatest example of that. You know, start, you know, something would happen in the world and Star Trek would go ahead and create an episode that kind of reflected what was happening in the world. Um, and I think that what's interesting is probably if you read the two of them, like, and if you do, if you Google this, what I would I mean, you think if you're curious about that, Google literary criticisms comparing the two, you'll find that some uh, PhD master English student somewhere sat down and probably compared the two novels, Fool Killer, and found the similarities, found where the author was trying to echo the same, a similar sentiment. I know the plots are different, because they're different even genres, but the fact is, is as an author myself, I know that 90% of my poems are about the same thing. <laughs> Leakey says that he's been busy myself. I'm currently stumbling through a poem here about wedding venues and wedding planners, because I'm finally, finally finishing this portion of my project. I love weddings, um, but I, I want to get into other subjects before the Valentine's Day season kicks in. Which, by the way, love is in the air. If anybody needs a Valentine's Day poem, your poet is here. Dang, I walked myself into a total corner with this line. This is redundant. Let's delete the entire line. That's better. Ah, LJ says, can I drop my wife's Valentine poem here? Test it out. Absolutely. You have written a poem for your wife, I'm assuming, by the way you worded that, and you are interested in, in having uh, us read it. Yeah, that works. That works for me. I keep looking at the other camera thinking it's on, but instead I'm just staring into the void of the dead battery. How sad. You know, it's a rough morning when you have to look up rhymes for place. Not that I don't know them, but I need to I need to kind of crack open the creativity. You got to love a list of words that includes grace and mace in it at the same time. I feel like that's a poem that I want to write. I want to write a poem um, which in rhymes grace with mace and just try to make that work. <laughs> ah, that one's good.
<laughs> Fool Killer has dropped his um, his three line poem. I, I think I might throw that onto an index card, man. That's that's funny. And Fool Killer's poem is as follows. It takes a lot of grace to use a mace effectively. Hit someone's face. That's funny. A lot of grace to effectively use the mace to hit someone's face. The face to boot. I feel like that belongs in one of my video game poems, which I do video game poems. It can't be a Twitch poet without be doing video game poems. I don't know if this soundtrack is appropriate to the fact that LJ just dropped his poem in here. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to finish Celebration and then I'm going to jump to LJ's poem. Uh, we celebrate. Oh, that's good. I like that. This is a hot mess of a poem, but I, I like it. And it's obviously going to get worked a little bit, but that's all right. The title of the poem is Celebration. And then after this, we'll read LJ's uh, poem for his wife. We'll try it out here on the stream. Set the tables. Bring the guests together. Tying the knots. Bows on gifts of gladness showered on love anew. We raise our glasses, christen this place as a home for this embrace, never to waste a memory in our minds. Plan details, delight, compilation of love's might to reach forward, sprinkle the rice and glittering gem of dress and marital success for these best days ahead. All the symphony, chamber hall of our evening, the time, the place, the way, we celebrate a wedded day. And add a celebration to a, a draft of a poem. Frankly, I could leave it like that because then I could adapt it and adjust it based off of uh, whatever venues need it. Uh, but enough of my work. LJ here has written a poem for his wife, and he's dropped it in the chat. And I will attempt to find the line breaks in it, and I will attempt to read it. And after that, I will give my um, I will I will tell I will give my reaction to the poem. And um, if any if at any if anything at all would give any positive encouraging um, uh, direction on it. 
cloud unfold across mountains and rivers, plains and streams a thoroughfare of beauty, a life with you born from dreams, laying with our hearts so they can touch, they too can touch as love, light, warmth, and soul. For any human is theirs to clutch, an overflow of sorts, all elements combine to one. Love in life now warms a soul, a brighter flame for everyone. Uh, man, that speaks to my heart. That's good. That's so good. Like, I don't think it speaks to me. I mean, like, literally, I love the the um, the architecture, the, the, the use of the ethereal in it. Um, I'm a very ethereal poet, if you guys haven't known it yet. Um, I love the idea, like, if somebody made me choose, I was on, like, a desert island, or, like, you know, somebody put a gun to my head and said, write a poem either about um, the the con you know like the, the the little the little nuances the little concrete nuances that say your wife does or about the the majesty of the the far-reaching um beauty of her love i would always choose the the high the the, the 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 very ethereal it's a choice it's not um it's not one that's better or worse um, and I think that's the only thing I would say, LJ, is to understand that the choice you made is a philosophical one. It'll hit, and it'll hit good. Um, but there's always also a different road, which is like the, you know, I've, and I've done both, but I like the ethereal, where I've written poems about the, the nature of love and how it, it magnifies itself in my wife, um, and done the same, you know, on behalf of others for others as a street poet. I've also written poems about how um, one of the funniest love poems I wrote was uh, there was this lady in a wheelchair um, who received a poem from the guy that she loved. And she's apparently a real trickster in that wheelchair. Um, like she's disabled, but she she really has a good fun time with it, um, makes all sorts of dirty jokes, things like that. Um, and so I wrote a lot of the concrete things about their love. Uh, and so that was that that poem. So very beautiful, LJ. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for opening your your heart and your writing to our stream. Um, it is I I tell you that the movement from nature into the heart into the unification of all things is like powerful. Uh, it, it's really really cool. <laughs> like that is like. That is a that is that is that is that is my jam. If I were to say anything, like it's good. Um, LJ says you also have a knack for reading poems, so I appreciate it. Uh, the best way to read poems and to learn to read poems is practice, practice, practice. You know, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. I'm not Carnegie Hall by any means. I also did Toastmasters for a little while, and that's something I never tell anybody. Um, Toastmasters, if you do not know what it is, is a public speaking club kind of like your Kiwanis or your uh, Knights of Columbus or your, uh, what's the other one? Um, Eagles, I think, do something like that. Um, the Rotaries, you know, like it's your, it's your, you know, fraternal and, and co cooperative society, though not always necessarily all men, um, and especially not in Toastmasters case. And what you do is you study the art of public speaking. And so you have to public speak each meeting. Uh, I loved it. And it, it, it taught me how to better inflect slowly but surely. LJ says, same here, Toastmasters. Shout out to Toastmasters. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little, fun little gang. Um, I'm going to bring back the, the music. Telmoni and Dan is in the house. Good morning. Good morning. We have about 10 minutes left in, in the stream. I've so far written some, I don't want to call it like, like like propaganda i mean like it's like my um it's my ad, it's my advertising uh budget of time is where you know the celebration problem it's good though and then we've also uh we also celebrated the poetry of lj gibbons who uh has written a poem for his wife and it's very wonderful um i don't even know what music's playing what music's playing oh this this song's good 
Um, I am not sure what to do for the rest of the 10 minutes. I remember Fool Killer requested a poem about my broken laptop. Um, you know what? I think that especially with the camera woes that I have, I'm gonna I'm gonna just write a poem, having a little fun with it, about technology and the the cameras and all the tech and the typewriter maybe working with that. I wanna try something fun. What have you been up to, Telmoni and Dan? How has life been for you? Indeed. It would be a more fun stream if my camera wasn't broken. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's our title. Troublesome tech. After all, we all need a poem for that computer that just won't work. Or the cell phone that decides to break at the worst time. Major complaints is the best way to be. I am glad to hear that. I need to copy. Hold on a second. Chat box. Copy this. Copy, copy, copy. Duplicate. There's a way to copy it. There we go. Paste reference. There we go. Now the chat will show up there, if you chat. LJ Gibbons is just dropping more mo poetry in the chat. I love this. I'm gonna, I'm on a roll here with troublesome tech, so I'm gonna read that in just a second.
Whoa. Ah. I mean, it's my fault I didn't charge the, 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 the camera. But uh, still, I, this is for all the other times. All right. Uh, this is uh, what I'm going to read out here, and then I'm going to read LJ Gibbons. Uh, poem. I'm going to read Troublesome Tech. <clears throat> I wish to become the gremlin hunter. The electric wonder plugging into the USB drive and trying to find every fault causing my worldwide demise. I will take a hammer to the chisel, slowly peel off the covers in plastic, to attack the confusion underneath. Levers replaced with silicon, little lines chipping away at my sanity. May this limerick of levity be a blessing to the demons hiding inside everything. Have you ever tried printing without the slightest uprising? They don't know, these short life machines, of the complete temptation of my defenestrating dream. And that's Troublesome Tech. I had fun with that one. In part because for a TikTok, I, I, I've had it in my mind for the last six months. Um, I have all these, I have old printer and I have old laptop and I, for a TikTok, I want to like throw them out a window. I'm not even joking. <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to happen. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a surprise if it ever becomes one. Uh, LJ's poem told, told an old tale in the chat. You ever hear tell if true frogs who fell in cream, one gave up and lost sight of his dream. The other never even once lost sight. He paddled and he swam and he kicked up a fight. And he hopped right out with his last bit of might. How do you ask? Because of all the flutter, the cold cream became a ladder made of butter. Ah, it's fun. I never remember hearing that, but but it sounds like that's something that uh, Foo Killer and LJ both heard. That's wonderful. You could make a great video for that, LJ Gibbons says. <laughs> we have we have some praise for troublesome tech. You know it. I don't know. I'll go back when um, this is all said and done, and I'll time out how long it took me to read it, and I might just um, clip the audio. Uh, take some shots of me glaring at my computer and my camera. Um, maybe add some sort of uh, weird music in the background and just turn that into a little funny thing. Defenestration is a word for the ages. I would say that if I didn't have, I mean, I, it's one of my favorites. Uh, my, my favorite word is a word that I actually keep forgetting. Um, and I don't want to keep forgetting it. It's like I forget how it's spelled. Uh, there we go. Um, but I, uh, uh, yeah, hammer pretend, <laughs> smashing the computer, pretending to smash. Yeah, it's so close. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I, there have been moments. There have been moments. Um, and the printer's thing, I'll tell you, the printer's thing is the thing that still gets me. We are in the 21st century. We It's 2021 in the 21st century. I remember when it was like 2003, 2004, 2005, getting something to print was like hell. You know, like if you didn't time it right with the computer turning on, the printer wouldn't talk to the computer. Ah, oh, it would just be horrible. But it's still, but like it's better. I would say it's better. I recently for the first time ever printed from a phone, which was exciting using Wi-Fi. Uh, but it's still bad. Like it's still like every three months something happens and I have to download the drivers and I have to reinstall the computer. 
you know, go figure. So shout out to printers. Anyway, thank you all for being here today. Really appreciate, um, maybe I should use, I, I just I just put on the, the music for myself again. I don't know, I, I was thinking like something like, something sad in the background would be a good contradiction to troublesome tech. I don't know, I might have fun with this phone. <laughs> it's a trap, says LJ. Um, thank you all so much for uh, being here. Thank you so much uh, for everybody that is lurking and watching. I want to shout out to the people that are not in the chat today. I have, I have shout out to the people in the chat, of course. You guys are awesome. But a uh, real nice, kind word because I know that there are family and friends who do not have Twitch that choose to tune in, that choose to probably put up with an ad in the beginning. I don't even know if they have ads on my channel. But uh, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, and for the people that have been in the chat having a good time, uh, thank you so much. We had uh, Fool Killer, LJ, Leaky, as well as Telemonian Dan. You guys are a real hit. And tomorrow I will have better resolution on my cameras. Um, and I'm probably going to be hitting pretty hard some of my backlog of edits. I have a horror poem I have to finish. I have a um, uh, poem about the news I have to finish. I have a lot of poems I have to finish, so I have to work on all that. Um, but of course, as always, you could request poetry. You could use one of the weird chat rewards to either make me take off my hat or stand up to check if I actually put on, um, uh, I mean, I put on shorts at least, but like sometimes I don't even get to put on dress pants in the morning. But anyway, uh, we had uh, Twitch or Alex do that. You could also swap out the typewriter if you've been collecting those points up. Uh, what else can you do? You can, uh, you could put the doggo cam on. We'll, we'll give you a little preview of the doggo cam. Up, oh, he is fresh asleep. Where? Oh, a second. There he is. There's Max. Max is out like a light. And um, let's see here. Let's see if there's anybody we could raid this morning. Raid, raid, raid. And there may not be. It's good to check. But thank you again all so much for being here. DJ No One is in. Uh, he is doing a deep techie vibe session with music. I always like to rate a DJ after these streams just because it is a, um, it's a cool way to kind of just jam into the day. You can choose to stay around. You can choose not to. Thank you again, everybody for being here. So let's, I'm gonna set up the raid while we have our out, outro screen. Thank you again so much everybody for being here at the Poetry Studio. And we are now setting up our raid. Thank you again so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care. And I'll see you all tomorrow. And I'm going to try to make it a bit more of a thing to get to 7 a.m. Um, for these streams. But appreciate the, the, the tune-ins regardless.